Hey there, I'm Sandy Reese, Chief Encouragement Officer here at Get Fully Funded, where we help small nonprofits learn how to raise the money they need to fully fund their mission. I'm here to help you learn how to master the art and science of fundraising. And I've got a great tip for you in just a moment. But before we get to that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that the next time we post a really great tip like this one, you're among the first to know. Okay, on to this week's tip. Fundraising in your first year can be a little daunting, especially if you've never done it before or if your experience of fundraising is a little less than desirable. Maybe you're like me and your first experience was selling candles and candy bars and junk like that for school, which never really went as well as they hyped it up to be, but that's a whole nother story. But what all that leaves you with now is an activity that you have to do on top of everything else. So while you're getting your office set up and your programs up and running and finding volunteers, now you've got to figure out how to raise money and how to raise big money, not just little dribs and drabs, not nickels and dimes, but a whole lot. And for an awful lot of the founders that we work with, fundraising just feels kind of, kind of yucky and less than desirable. And there's a big reason for that. So I want to share a tip with you that I think will help a lot if you are fundraising in your first year. And that is make the fundraising about those you serve, not about you. If you make it about you, then you are putting yourself on the line. You're putting yourself at risk of rejection. It's just going to be harder. And, and it's a very subtle difference, but a very important difference. So here's the thing. If you go onto Facebook, which is a great place to start, by the way, and you start to ask friends and family to support your new nonprofit, you're making it about you. And this is ultimately going to end badly. So don't ask people to help support your new nonprofit. Ask people to help you make a difference. So let's say that you have started a nonprofit to save kittens. What you want to do is say to people, help me save more kittens. It's kitten season and kittens are going to die in shelters and we can do something about that. See how that works? It's not about you anymore. It's about the kittens. We're putting the focus where it needs to be. So no matter what your mission is of your organization, you have to ask people to help you make a difference by changing the lives of those you're trying to serve. Now, take that one step further by telling people exactly what their donation will do. If you haven't put a budget together yet for the first year, you need to do that. That's also part of fundraising in the first year. It's hard, but you can do it. You can estimate how much you want to do in terms of service and what that's going to cost so that you have an idea of what you need to raise. You also can think about how many kittens you want to save, and then you can start to do some math to think about what it will cost to save one kitten. Then as you go throughout the year and you actually get some hard numbers, then you can come back and say, for sure, here's what this costs. But initially, you're going to be working from estimates, and that's okay. That's totally okay. So if you tell people, our, our, our nonprofit, our new nonprofit, fill in the blank name, is all about saving kittens, and we estimate that it's going to cost $5 a day to take uh, a homeless kitten into a situation where they get love and shelter and food and uh, veterinary care and everything they need to grow and thrive. It's only $5 a day. Would you like to help us save more kittens? That's a much better ask than give to my new nonprofit. See the difference there? And we're putting the focus where it needs to be. Now, there's about a hundred other things that you probably should be doing during your first year of fundraising, but that's going to get you started. All right, I'm going to give you a link here in just a second to an article on our blog that goes into a lot more detail about all those things you need to do. And go ahead and click over there, read that, get your ideas, and then go raise the money you need to get through the first year. If you like this video, there's plenty more where this came from. Be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so they get notifications every time we upload a fresh piece of content so you don't miss a single thing.